I'm excited to go over the Podia website builder with you. Podia is a platform I recently discovered. I was looking to sell some products of my own and I was debating on setting up Stripe and active campaign and my landing pages and tying everything together manually or using Podia and their awesome platform to be able to sell stuff. But they do have a website builder as well. And website builders are my specialty. So I dove into it, figuring out what it can do, what it can't do. And we're gonna talk about that and some other considerations before you dive into the Podia website builder. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the Podia website builder. However, there are some things that you might need to watch out for before you dive into it. So let's go right into the builder and I'll show you what's what. So the builder is intuitive, it's clean, it's easy, but it's still also customizable. Usually there's a balance between how much you can customize it and how easy it is to use. And I would say Podia is a fair balance between the two. So let's go over one of the main things that I wanted to know, what type of sections can we build out on the website? So there's a good amount of sections and you can see them on the side here. So let's just grab one for example and go for the basic one and say text. Now, this is what you're able to do that everything is kind of like pre-made so you have the fields to fill out the title or the the pre-title or the subtitle but you don't really add extra stuff to it and that's a big differentiation between this platform and some other ones where you might say i want to add an additional title to here or split this up into two columns it doesn't work like that it says this is the section that you have here are the fields available in it and then we'll look at the design in a second too so it's really easy and, and they advertise that you can build websites in 10 minutes and start selling your products. And it's true. You can build actually a pretty nice website very quickly, but you don't have all of the fine tuning available. But that's a, usually a good thing. You don't want to spend too much time fine tuning all this stuff because at the end of the day, you need to sell products and you don't need to have all of the bells and whistles to do so. Let's jump over to the design tab because this is like one of my favorite places to go to see what you can actually do. So first of all, they just have a bunch of like pre-made stuff. Like do you want it to be centered or left or you can put it into a card format. And then I love the color section because it allows you to change the theme of the whole section without having to go to the title and saying change that in the background and change that. So we can say uh, we've got the default theme, no theme, light theme, and then dark theme. So it'll invert everything. And then let me just take this out of card mode so we can see some of these other ones better. Or you can actually customize it. So you can say the background, the heading and change colors. But what these colors are pulling from are your global design settings. And I want to show you that real quick. So there's two different places. You've got your site colors and these will just automatically display whenever you pull in a button or a title or anything like that. And then you've got your fonts and same idea here. You get to set individual font styles for every different type of title or text on the web page. So pretty quickly, you're able to build out a nice web page. They have pretty much all the sections you might need with testimonials and images. And where it gets cool is if you do wanna sell products, then they make it really great to be able to pull in your products and then even create category pages. So if you have, you know, for me, I might have something I'm selling within the Duda website builder. So I can have Duda products over here and eBooks over here, whatever it may be. It gives you enough flexibility to design out the website how you want and sell your products very quickly. So as a demo, I was building out a page to sell my Duda widgets. And this is kind of what I came up with in a few minutes where I'm bringing in the product right here. And it has all of these options that I can say, you know, what's included in it. If you're selling files or videos, you're able to break it all down, um, bring it in easily, have a checkout right there and go through the steps, the FAQs and so forth. Now, for some of you, you may decide that you have a website and it's working great and you just want a platform that allows you to integrate with it and sell the products on it without having to set up the full e-commerce system, the email system and all of that. And so I have a website example here that is a different website platform. So we're not looking at Podia because he wanted to do all this fancy stuff or he already had an existing platform. But when he goes down to the pricing and if you enroll in it, it brings up an embedded checkout form. And so this is actually Podia now that we're looking at. And so you're kind of getting the best of both worlds. This feature is only available on their shaker plan though. The website's available on all tiers by the way, but on the free tier, you have to host it on the Podia subdomain. Once you go to a paid tier, you're able to have your own domain. Now there is something I wanna bring your attention to. In my opinion, it's not a deal breaker, but it's something worth noting. So I often go over this chart on the channel, which pulls in real world websites and their core web vital stats, which are the stats that Google uses 
in order to measure how performant the websites are. Are they fast? You know, do they shift around a lot when the web page loads? And so I'm just pulling in some various platforms I sometimes talk about, like WordPress, Squarespace, due to Podia. And unfortunately, Podia is the lower one on the chart, and the lower it is, the slower it essentially is going to be. So I pulled up some real world examples to test this myself, and I ran the Lighthouse tests to see how well they performed. And so across the board, we've, we're seeing they're a little bit on the lower side, mostly in the 70s. You know, this could be an opportunity to compress this image. So there are some stuff that you can do to improve the performance of your site such as running the image through tinypng.com. But overall, it seems like it's slightly on the slower side, but it's not a deal breaker because performance isn't everything. It's just one thing to consider. Overall, I'm really impressed with the Podia website builder and I might build some of my products and the landing pages on it. It's just super easy to do and it's all integrated together. It definitely doesn't feel like the website builder was an afterthought for Podio. They're definitely putting a lot of effort into it. And for that reason, I think for a lot of people that are especially selling digital products or selling coaching sessions will really like the Podio website builder. Now, at one point I mentioned in this video, the global colors and the different colors you wanna put there. If this isn't your field at all and you're just confused about what colors you should put, well, I created an awesome video that gives you a formula on what colors to pick so you're not spending time just guessing and you can just create your website and start selling your products. So check out this video where I go over awesome color hacks.